listen, it's day 24, top dog Toba. Dylan's winning. Dylan's winning the competition. Guys, I don't want to be eating loads of hot stuff in, a, in like a week's time. Please vote for me. If you're going to use our discount code, please vote for me. <sighs> anyway, hey guys, Hayden here from Top Dog. I hope you're enjoying our Top Dog Toba series. This is day 24. We're going to be doing some cool stuff. But before we dive into this video, if you are enjoying these videos or you just enjoy our YouTube channel in general, okay, you like our teaching style, then you would absolutely love, and I promise you, you would love the resources that we have on our website, premium les lesson videos in English, maths, verbal and nonverbal reasoning. They come complete with homework tasks as well and the answers and also a video walkthrough if you want to just see us explain how to solve every single question. And what's more, at the moment through October, we've got a discount code. Now, if you go to our website and add the one off purchase to your basket and use vote Hayden discount code, then you will get 15% off bringing that price down to just under 300 pounds for the whole year. That means the whole year. So you'll get all of our resources across the year. Tons of videos, tons of stuff. Anyways, guys, vote Hayden. I don't want to be eating hot stuff. Dylan's going to laugh if, he, if I have to lose this. He's going to love it too much. And you know that. Anyway, he left you with this question yesterday in his figurative language lesson, day 23. Um, and it says, this sentence contains, and we're just looking for the type of figurative language being used. The answer was, of course, A, a simile. Big clue there. When we had the like uh, giving us a clue. When I look for like and as, I often think of similes. Today, I've got a nice easy one for you. All right, it's the spatial reasoning that I think is pretty cool, pretty fair. And all we have to do is find the shape on the left in one of the shapes on the right. That's it. It's hidden within one of these figures on the right, but there are loads of traps. For example, we often look for little bits like this pointy bit on the left here it looks a bit like this. And I can see that it's got that at the other end. In fact, it even goes across. And then, oh, there's just a bit missing right here. So it's not in A. Okay, it's nowhere else in there. There's loads of little traps like that. Quite often as well, you'll you'll find the shape, but it's been rotated as well. There's, there's not an example in this one of that, but hopefully there will be. Here's another good trap. It's like basically there. It just doesn't have the end on it. Uh, but actually the answer was in D. So my advice is to be looking for the shape. It's not been rotated and then draw around it when you find it and compare it with your eyes all the way back to here. Just flick back and forth, make sure it looks exactly the same. Sometimes it's too small, sometimes it's too wide, or little other traps to catch you out. Have a go at this one. Pause the video. Can you find that shape? Where is it? Okay, so a few traps here. We've got a kind of sort of backwards version in D. In E, we've got a similar shape, but actually we've got two wide angles here, making the lines not parallel in b sometimes people think it's not b because it looks too long but actually it's even though that's too long there is also a line here so it's just a smaller version it's in b simple as okay so it's not rotated a was a good trap as well because you can really see the start of it here but it doesn't carry on so have a go at the next one where is this shape Did you find it? Did you fall into my trap of A? A is a really good trap because there is a point in the middle here like this and there is the top triangle and there is a triangle this side. It's just not the right type of triangle. It should have been this way around. So it's not A, okay? Is it in B? Again, we've got loads of triangles here but none of them are making this exact thing. To have this exact thing, we'd have a triangle here and a triangle here which doesn't exist. Again, doesn't exist in C either. Doesn't exist in D. It must be in E. There it is because we've got that shape and we've got that triangle up the top here. It's the only one that looks the same. It's a really good trap there because there's loads of visual um, glitches almost in, in each one as you, as you look at them, illusions. Good stuff. Right guys, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. A nice quick one just to show you what this question type looks like that could come up in your 11 plus. Now, looking at this question here, can you find the answer? Go one step further. Can you think of what the trap answers would be? I can see a couple of really good trap answers that people might fall into. I wonder if you can explain what they are. Tune in for two tomorrow's video to find out exactly what the answer is. And, and remember, you can check out the community tab on our YouTube channel to see who's winning the uh, competition, which at the moment isn't me. Oh, dear.